For the third time in less than a year, skywatchers in the United States can see a total eclipse of the moon. The action begins at 3.16 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on the morning of April 4th, when the edge of the moon first enters the amber core of Earth's shadow. For the next hour and 45 minutes, Earth's shadow will move across the lunar disk, ultimately covering the entire moon at 4.58 a.m. Pacific. East of the Mississippi River, the eclipse will be interrupted by sunrise. People can only see a partial eclipse. West of the Mississippi, people can see the whole thing, including totality. Totality is when the moon is fully inside Earth's shadow. Some total eclipses last for more than an hour. In this case, however, totality spans just 4 minutes and 43 seconds, a result of the fact that the moon is skimming the outskirts of Earth's shadow rather than passing centrally through it. The brevity of the eclipse highlights the importance of watching the clock. Be outside no later than 4.58 a.m. Pacific to witness the red moon. Why red? A quick trip to the moon provides the answer. Imagine yourself standing on a dusty lunar plane looking up at the sky. Overhead hangs Earth, night side down, completely hiding the sun behind it. The eclipse is underway. You might expect Earth seen in this way to be utterly dark, but it's not. The rim of the planet looks to be on fire. As you scan your eye across Earth's circumference, you're seeing every sunrise and every sunset in the world, all of them, all at once. This incredible light beams into the heart of Earth's shadow, filling it with a coppery glow and transforming the moon into a great red orb when viewed from Earth. The total lunar eclipse of April 4, 2015 is the third of four total lunar eclipses separated by approximately six months, a phenomenon astronomers call a tetrad. Such a closely spaced succession of eclipses is a fairly rare occurrence. The complete list of dates is April 15, 2014, October 8, 2014, April 4, 2015, and September 28, 2015. Set your alarm before sunrise on April 4 and enjoy the show. For more news about beautiful events in the night sky, visit science.nasa.gov.